There exists an enduring debate in sports. One perpetually unresolved by fans and pundits. When we talk about greatest, we're talking about a guy who's prime, who concentrated the highest level of performance over a significant number of years. Or as the icons come and go. It's very difficult to have comparisons of eras. Are left only to speculate. Which one was the greatest of all time? The only thing a human being can do is to be best in his time. Sometimes it comes down to taste. So I think that discussion is hard. But when identifying the most heralded competitor in mixed martial arts... One after another, no one ever did it like that. Understand? The debate appears to be settled. 100%. He's the greatest fighter of all time. His evidence continually points. He's unparalleled. John Bones Jones. He has dominated every great challenger he's ever fought. Since becoming the youngest ever UFC champion at just 23, Jones has shattered light heavyweight records. In 2011, John Jones became the youngest champion in UFC history. Most title defenses. Once again, John Jones proving to be far too much. The most championship fight ever in the history of sport. Most wins. Most wins finishes in UFC light heavyweight history. The longest unbeaten streak. John Jones has been on top for over 10 years. He's beaten them all. He is the GOAT. After vacating the title in 2020, Jones will return in a new weight class. Woo! MMA's premier division, reserved for the planet's baddest men. If he does what he did at light heavyweight, it's gonna be crazy because he will mix things up big time. On March 4th in Las Vegas, Jones will compete for the vacant heavyweight crown. John Jones is so motivated for this fight. This is his opportunity, this is his moment. I'm coming back to be great. Oh, John landed a high kick. To be the heavyweight champion of the world. John is all over him. Here comes Johnny Bones with the ground and pound. Cormier. That could be it. Trying to survive. That's that it. Is He's it. out. He's John out. Jones has done it. Against the former interim champion from Paris, France. This man is a problem. Cyril Dunn. One of the most technical fighters that we've ever seen in the heavyweight division. He is a goat. For sure. But it's my time now. Oh, to his heart. Oh, it's percussive oh, and concussive by Cyril Gann. What a finish. So let his go. The co-main event will see dominant flyweight champ Valentina Shevchenko. This woman is an assassin. Defend her title against Mexico's Alexa Grosso. Oh, my God. There it is, Alexa Grosso by submission in round one. Plus, NCAA wrestling phenom Bo Nickel. Oh, my God. Bo knows how to wrestle. Bo knows how to strike. This is Jamie Pickett. Jamie Pickett oh, with a flurry of punches. Oh, he's hurt. Who won it? But first, we thank you for this team, my guy. We pray that everyone who leaves this camp, better men, better fighter, better father, better friends. We want to just thank you for the things you're doing that we can't see. Get ready. It does not get a whole lot bigger or better than this. For UFC 285. This is what you would call a juicy card. There's a lot of goodness in this card. Oh, yeah. yeah. Countdown. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know it's going to be fireworks. In recent years, the UFC heavyweight title picture has been occupied by a decorated Muay Thai fighter turned mixed martial arts champion. And Cyril Gaon's rise to prominence began in his native Paris, France. Under the guidance of head coach Fernand Lopez. My relationship with Fernand Lopez is very special. Si tu sens que tu l'as perdu en libre, que tu ne gères pas, mets le bras dessous, essaie de le contrôler ici le plus longtemps possible. Si tu sens que 30% ça ne te suffit pas, monte à 70% un peu, ok? Et ça, c'est la clé, c'est la clé, le changement de direction. Good job, good job. Not just as a manager, it's more than that. Yeah, yeah. 
He's like a dad, like a big brother. Viens, et ça change de direction. C'est le changement de direction qui est la crise. Good job. And that's why I'm so happy to have him, because he helped me a lot. Voilà, voilà. Tu vois, pendant ce temps, lui, c'est pas pour sa position. Good job. The thing that we in MMA Factory add to the series game was mostly the submission, the wrestling. Le bras sous les selles, c'était très intelligent. Oui, toujours en déplacement. Good job, awesome. And he picked very quick. Boom, that was it. Madagana, Paris, France, Cyril, go! Well, it only took three pro MMA fights to put French heavyweight Cyril gone on the UFC radar. Oh, look at that! Oh, and there's a tap! Wow. Welcome to the UFC, Cyril Gaon! He's athletic. He can do everything. Oh! Jumping switch knee! Mace oh, goes down! Be it. Oh, and he gets the tap! No matter what sport you bring him, him can do that. I mean, this guy really is dedicated to be the best mixed martial artist in the heavyweight division. The mindset it was just to do step by step, fight after fight. Oh! It was not in the rush. That's it. But it was really quick. They know Seattle gone, 5 0 in the UFC, passes this test. He only transitioned to MMA training early in 2018. This man is a quick learner. Sid Ogan improves to 9-0, undefeated, number three in the world. Your next heavyweight title contender, Sid Ogan. There is no doubt who is leading the mixed martial arts movement in France at present. Enter Sid Ogan, and he has become one of the best heavyweights in MMA. Very expeditious. They knew that at some point, Cyril would be in this position, challenging for a championship against a tough Derek Lewis. Houston's own Derek Lewis, and the interim heavyweight championship is on the line. These are two big dudes. In just his 10th professional MMA fight. Nice jab and a follow-up right hand. Gone headlined a UFC pay-per-view with interim heavyweight gold on the line. He's so fast, man. That is the issue that a lot of these guys are having problems with. He's such a great athlete, right, that he's in and out before they can return. Look at how quickly he got that left leg up there, man. Il faut qu'il travaille! Il faut qu'il travaille! And undaunted by the bright lights. He just moves so well for a big guy. It really is a sight to behold. Ooh, voilà, merci! A French superstar was born. He's not showing him that respect that Derek usually earns from his opponents. Huge shots from Gunn! Oh, he's hurt. It's over. Siddle gone on the cusp of a world title. This was a great moment. The bet. France has the interim UFC heavyweight champion, Siddle gone. It was really quick, but we did it. Total domination on the road tonight. He's a problem for them all. If I look my career, if I look a little bit back, I'm already happy. Cyril Gaon's crowning achievement was followed by a unification bout for the undisputed title. That would not fare as well. A seemingly dejected Cyril Gaon back to the blue corner. He went five rounds. He lost a decision trying to unify the world heavyweight belt. I'm a little bit sad. It's a really good experience, and I think I'm just arriving in this game, so the future is, is front of me. But on March 4th, Gone has a second chance to capture the now vacated heavyweight belt. In a main event bout with former light heavyweight champion John Jones. Let's go. Stay strong and stay in it. I know you got it. The most exceptional talent that any division has ever seen. A once in a generation talent. A collegiate wrestler whose true calling was combat. He's a real natural talent. Makes up moves on the spot as he fights. Fantastic throws. Creative. An incredible athlete. But John Jones dispatched light heavyweights with ease. Look at that ground and pound. Beautiful takedown. Oh, my. The it factor meter just broke. If he wins, he'll become the youngest champion in UFC history. Oh, oh, trying Shogun to finish his hurt. fight. Shogun's badly hurt. Jones is the youngest champion. Legends. He stops Rampage Jackson. Oh! Yoda's in trouble. He's out. He is the present and he is the 
future, and he might be the greatest talent that we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nasty! He is beating Glover Teixeira up. Hall of Fame. John Cena down DC. Cormier's in big, big trouble. That is it. John Jones has done it. Top contenders. That's a dangerous, scary man to be in front of. John Jones is the winner. He's a guy who knows how to dig deep. The most championship wins in the history of this organization. No man could ever seize his title. The most unique talent in the history of sport. And after three years on the shelf, Jones is now ready for a return at heavyweight. Three sets of 30, just kind of open them up. Get the nervous system firing, and then see how that bar feels today. I set up a gym at my house about two months before COVID hit, and I've been training nonstop. Good, excellent, excellent. It was great to have a place to go and to blow off steam. Go, go, that's it. Three, four, good, rest. I made the plan to get to heavyweight, and uh, at first I thought it'd be really easy. I thought I could do it in a few months. Good. Good. That's it, that's better. All right, let's go press for five reps. That's the most you ever press for 315. As I got more into the culture, I realized that if I wanted to do it right, Let's go, baby. Yes, you can. Come on. It would have to be something I really committed my whole life to, and that's what I did. Good. It kept me happy. Good. Two. Come on. It gave me Good. new goals. Stay in it. And my biggest goals was just become a heavyweight champion of the world. Go. Stay in it. Stay in it. Yep, yep. Come on. One more. Come on. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. from, hey, John, I need you to eat today so that you can have energy, to muscles starting to come on and numbers starting to grow, bumping up his volume, his training. Keep working, keep working. Allowing him to move like he did at light heavy. Once we got him there, we're like, all right, let's get ready to fight. John Jones was once the baddest man in UFC, and now he's set to return. He's going to do it as a heavyweight. He'll take on Cyril Ghan at UFC 285 on March 4th in Las Vegas. They will fight for the heavyweight title. Who am I? I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm so flagrant. I do everything I used to do, just more confidently and with more power. Who am I? I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm so flagrant. Constant areas. That's it. It's going to be strong. It's going to be fast, sharp. I'm really sure for that, and I'm prepared for that. But it's a human, and I'm a human, and we are fighters. Two hands, two feet, so let's make it happen. Oh, I've been waiting for a long time for all this, you know, and I'm not going out there to lose. I'm not going out there to win either. I'm going out there to dominate. And that's what I'm going to do. Following the first defeat of his professional career, former interim heavyweight champ Cyril Ghosn would return with a headlining spot on the UFC's first ever event in his native Paris. Her head coach, Fernand Lopez, would implement a brand new strategy. Listen to this crowd. This is not a sport for a nice guy. We need to hurt people. The mindset that we went in Paris was bring the dog inside you. Oh! No seats are being used in the arena right now. I get touched by Itacho as a... Oh! He's melted him with that. There's the power. He buzzed him with that one for sure. Wow! 
Wow! He won't be thinking about that blood now. Ty has to put it on him right now. He's, he's hurt. He's wounded. And he's not fully recovered. I'm like that. And after I'm, I'm on my ass. And say, Whoa, what the f***? But I stay at focus. He's going to go again. Oh! OK, let's go to the wall. This is two of us's range. He went there for the brawl. What a comeback from Gang. Taking chances. The intensity of this crowd is burning the paint of the walls here. Take his risk. Got caught many times. Both men were almost just finished. Just unbelievable. What a round. Wow. But keep going till he stop Tai Tuvasa. Gan is taking the wind out of two of Asa's sails. What we're doing now is to bring the monster inside him. Come out. I'm happy because I prove it. I can be a, a real dangerous situation, but I can manage this also. No matter who, Dana, now I'm going ahead to the bed. Cyril, bon camin, gone! My heart grew up a lot in France after this event more solicitation in the media, interview, but also for the Arrest FC. I believe in this project. I'm the face of the French MMA. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hard, but this is a good feeling. This is always nice. meet some people, the people are really always kind with me. Everything is beautiful, the fight is beautiful, the crowd is beautiful, the fighter is really beautiful. I'm so happy. This is how baby, you understand? So that's why we are really happy. Arena, and if you have a good memories, I did the first event in Paris there. So this is a little bit special. That's cool, that's cool. And this is my first game. Bonsoir. To be a fighter is not easy, and it's not long. You must do uh, everything you can during this time. Today we are here for the Bulls and Pistons, but that a few months it was for me, so that's really crazy. I'm really confident for the future. Gan's next opponent can be found in the southwestern United States, where former UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones has enlisted the services of training partners with UFC heavyweight experience. It's that time again, Paulie. Oh, yeah. It's that time again. Can you play, Walt? I'm all right. You got skills? I'm honored to be around a bunch of 300-pound beasts. Maurice Green has been one of my main training partners over the years. He never misses a practice. Jorgen DeCastro, he's like a tank. He feels low pain. He's always looking to knock your head off. Joel! The Mad Titan with the flush KO! Holy smokes, he put him to sleep! 
I got Walt Harris in town. He's a natural southpaw. I don't know if there's a faster set of hands in the heavyweight division than those possessed by Walt Harris. Much bigger than me, um, but he fights with a nice swagger. That keeps me sharp. The big ticket coming up large! There it is! Ah! I have a really strong grip around me right now, so I'm pretty confident. Another unique element of UFC 285 Fight Camp is the return of Team Jones to the original Jackson MMA facility in Albuquerque, where preparations to face Cyril Gaon on March 4th are paired with a nostalgic backdrop. This is the building that I was recruited to come train at. Here we go, set, go! It's not the fanciest place. It's in the hood, it's a little grungy, but I have so many great memories here. Let's work, last one, let's work. Let's go, Jones. You know, back in the early days where this sport was really being forged, this was one of the meccas where you could really come, learn from the best coaches, train with the best partners. Hand fight, hand fight, hand fight. Come on, keep his hips free. And the proof was in the pudding. This leg's in the way, I'm wrestling here. With Pummel, we need to commit our footwork and our hips. I want you guys nice and loose. Scrickles loose. We like being back into this old gym. It's a Rocky II vibe in here. And everybody's brought in for one goal, and that's to help John become heavyweight champion of the world. That's what we needed in this room. It was a wrestling spirit. A really great team. It just got better. Yeah. You can feel it, huh? You're like, damn, this is a big move. <laughs> I watch Serial training, and he trains pretty. He has the pretty clothes on, he has a pretty gym that he's a part of. He's punching a heavy bag, or he's beating up on some lesser opponent. I never see him in the trenches wrestling, having someone on top of him bigger than him, grinding him out. I don't get impressed by you having nice footwork and being from France and all that <laughs> This is not a kickboxing match. I'm going to bring him into the trenches. I'm going to bring him into the trenches and see how bad he wants it. Former UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones returns to action on March 4th. It won't be his first time coming back from an extended hiatus. Jones has been stripped of some form of his UFC title, a record three John times. Jones tested positive for Torinobol. Jones ball. was allegedly involved in a three-car accident injuring tested a woman. positive for the main metabolite found his in cocaine. His most recent arrest in Albuquerque for DWI, firing Sends a hand. a clear gun. message that even the best fighter in the world, you're gonna be held accountable. Go. But the indiscretions that led to layoffs of the past. Down and back, nice and easy. Have shaped the man Jones is today. I feel like we all have multiple sides. And if you don't, I feel sorry for you. And go. You know, we have our goals, we have our setbacks. We have an idea of the person we want to be, and, and then there's the person we actually are. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. It's just being a human being, really. some regrets in life, but for the most part, I realize that if you have the opportunity and the ability to be really good at something, then you owe it. If you start cooling it down for you, you're all in really good health, everything's okay. I suggest just jump in on the top. Oh yeah. You owe it to the people who can't do what you're doing. You watch yourself, you're in. Who aren't getting the opportunities you're getting. I owe it to them to put myself out there and do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Focus and dedication are balanced by ventures outside of camp. 
which for John Jones means time with his loyal friend, Dutch. Dutch, sit. Who's? Dutch has just been one of my biggest hobbies. Who's? It's great to have an animal that would actually protect you and your family. And I wanted to get it trained by some of our country's best. And so I uh, flew Jared down. My name is Jared Wolf. I own a dog training facility in the Northeast. We work with anything from police canines to personal protection dogs, competition bite dogs, and your neighbor's golden retriever. He wants Jared. I'm like a piece of steak right now. Once John realized what kind of dog it was, he knew he had to have the outlets for the dog to make sure he was getting the bites he needs and getting exercise. When he sees that suit, the smell of the suit, he knows what that suit's about. That's the highest toy, that's the highest reward that you can give a dog, is that bite suit. Send him from, stop right there, right there, right there. You good, whenever you want. Ready? Yeah. Jerry was supposed to be someone attacking us in a park, and it was good to see that Dutch was willing. Dutch, pocket, to protect me. Hey! I can get my dog to focus on me. I can point at a specific target and get my dog to focus on that person. Hey! Hey! I get my dog to bark at you and get him to actually bite into you. I can make him stop. Dutch, out! There's a lot of people out there that possibly can get their dog to bite you, but not many people can get their dog to stop. Ah, get him up! Ah! Ah! Can you imagine? <laughs> just uh, get his dog attacking you and then just get flying me. Boom! Jared's one of the few people who I trust to take Dutch. They have a great relationship, a great bond. But I'm glad I have this relationship. My guy. This is my guy. Just an awesome companion. And I wouldn't trade him for anything. From the high desert of New Mexico to the dense expanse of Paris, France, both John Jones and Cyril Gaunt intensely fixate on their March 4th showdown for the heavyweight crown. Après Jules n'était pas prêt, il savait pas c'était quoi, tu vois. Et les gars, ils plient tous de la même manière. John Jones, he's a mastermind. He scared people and beat people before he won the fight start. The ties on effet. Il oblige les gens à reculer dessus. When you have to coach someone against John Jones, you have a challenge. We want Sirigan to be the first fighter in the UFC to stop John Jones. What I'm going to do today, I'm a crash test. Most of the time, John Jones is fighting with people quicker than heavyweight, but not quicker than Syrian. I got a really good footwork. I can move very well for any heavyweight, and everybody know that. I'm gonna have an advantage because I'm gonna be fast. I can't wait to fight against this guy. I'm gonna finish him. He's trying to murder me. Father God, thank you for this day, Lord. We just ask that you continue to give us the vision, Lord. Thank you for this team, Lord. We just ask that you continue to bless us. And dear Lord, I thank you for this brotherhood and this knowledge and this strength as you guide us towards this goal. Fighting serial gains more like playing chess. But compared to everybody else I've faced, I actually don't see this extraordinary speed. These are the times you remember the dark place. Thank you for this team, Lord God. We pray that everyone who leaves this camp, better men. Been broken, couldn't keep in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I'm back better than ever now. I'm used to fighting people that are very fast. That's all I've ever known. It's fighting guys who are very athletic. 
light heavyweights. Having light feet doesn't finish fights. The longer he stands in front of me, the more comfortable and the more I realize that this is what I'm born to do and I'm going to take over the fight. Tell the devil he can be strong. The most unique talent in the history of sport. These are the moments that depend us. He's been completely dominant through his entire career. But I'm going to make this fight look surprisingly easy. At UFC 285 in Las Vegas, the greatest of all time. If he does what he did at light heavyweight, it's going to be crazy. Moves up to face the former interim champ. Cyril Volkermakan, one of the most technical fighters that we've ever seen. But to the victor goes undisputed heavyweight gold. Salvation is a real thing. John Jones is just the greatest of all time. I can't wait to see what he does at heavyweight. Guaranteed, he will push the pace. I see myself going out there and doing what I was put on this planet to do. Jones has done it. These are the moments that depend us. To conquer him, to challenge his heart, to see what he's made out of. You can't kill a legend. Legends never die. And I will be victorious. John Jones entering into your division. You gotta prove something. John Jones, your time is done. <laughs> UFC 285's co-main event will see one of Mexico's greatest female fighters compete for the flyweight championship. 29-year-old contender. Alexa Grasso. His uncle Francisco continues a deep boxing lineage. Okay. Bien hecho todo. With a family gym and a growing presence in the biggest promotions. Push. Vamos, tiempo. The gym is really popular for women in MMA. We have Alexa. We have Irina Dana. Karina Rodriguez. Here's a right hand from Rodriguez. Rodriguez is showing so much heart right now. She's champion of Invicta. Still! We have a lot of girls with a lot of success in, in her career. Push. Push! Vamos, tiempo. Haciéndolo. Movida, va. Recto. Bam. Recto gancho. Bam, bam. Hay que meter bien la cadera. Bam, bam. Excelente, otra vez. Women's MMA is still canon new in Mexico, so it is nice to be recognized as a pioneer. Bam, bam. Eso es. Bam, eso. Espérate como. Bam. Y ese pisotón. I just want to do the best to be a good example for the young generations. Presentando la hija de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Nice body kick followed by a straight right again. And now Grosso open it up. Ooh. And that is a fighter with brilliant fundamentals. Crisp hand techniques too. Grosso showing that Mexican fighting spirit. Grosso put on an absolute show. What a spectacular performance. You just emerged a star in this division. A longtime staple at 115 pounds. Heavy in the middle and the Sparza wobbled again. Grosso faced the division's best before eventually moving up in weight. I mean, she's been tested against some of the best at 115. Her flyweight debut tonight, sizable. Oh, oh and another one. Alexa Grasso showing that the ground game is coming along to match the stand-up. Alexa Grasso is the real deal. There it is, Alexa Grasso by submission in round one. And she is moving on up at 125 pounds. And after compiling a dominant four-fight unbeaten streak. And she has stayed with the family on her climb to the upper echelon of the UFC. Grasso is primed for a shot at the flyweight belt. champion Valentina Shevchenko. The champion who lays claim to the 125 pound crown. She's the real deal. She's got no weak carry. Has ruled the division with ferocity. The cold blooded assassin. She just gets better with every single fight. And dominance. Oh! She has dominated. 
eliminated. Everybody from the moment she got a hold of this championship. Shevchenko is setting the bar for the sport for mixed martial arts. She's showing women this is where you gotta be. That's the bar set. Oh! Begs the question. It is gonna take a Herculean effort to dethrone her. Is there anyone who can dethrone Kyrgyzstan's Valentina Shevchenko? It's going to be hard to move here today. <laughs> so many people here. I remember when I won the flyweight championship for the first time. This is good feeling. You have a goal and you get what you want. But it doesn't mean it's over. It means it's just starting. Everywhere we go, we try to find like some place by the water and go there. We want to be better than we were yesterday. This is what's important. In hopes of defending her flyweight belt for an eighth consecutive time, Valentina Shevchenko has brought UFC 285 training camp to Tokyo, Japan where her newest teammate has welcomed the champ with open arms. He was in my corner for the Singapore fight. Valentina Shevchenko certainly showing her championship heart and medal down the stretch. One leg ten, another leg ten. He's Japanese from America, and he came to Japan to train here in Paraestra Gym. Padastra Kashiwa is probably one of the best teams in Japan right now. Now doing low kick and body contact, go. Low kick and body contact, go. We have many, many champions here. Thank you, thank you. And Tsuruya Sensei, our head coach, is the best coach in Japan. Tsuruya, Hiroshi! Thailand more stronger, more stronger, more stronger. かなりの打撃のテクニックがあります。選手の破壊力が違うんで、マレンティナ選手が強化するんじゃないかなと思ってます。and be strong in every single position. This is what we are doing, to be the best. Walk it. Walk it around the road. Alexa Grasso is strong. Kalena. Kalena. But there is only one champion, and I am planning to stay for a long time. From the land of the rising sun to the heart of Jalisco, flyweight contender Alexa Grasso remains undaunted by the dominant champion and is ready to seize her moment on March 4th. Valentina is a great champion, but like every single human in this world, she has weak points. Grasso has crisp hand techniques. Alexa Grasso by submission. And I see myself with my hand raised. Moving on up at 125 pounds. Grasso! What I see from this fight, it's the same goal. She's an ice cold killer. Now a head kick. Murphy on the ropes. Oh, oh. head kick. That's it. Hands raised up. Oh, my God. You see champion's belt. Get her another that's it. She is a straight up assassin. UFC 285's feature bout will see the debut of 27 year old collegiate wrestling phenom Bo Nickel. 
continues a multi-generation family tradition. I can remember being six, seven, eight years old and thinking about being a high school state champion, an NCAA champion in college, a world and Olympic champion. I was able to apply that to my training and my discipline at Penn State. Nichols spent his collegiate career as a Penn State Nittany Lion, guided by Olympic gold medalist Cale Sanderson. All right, hey, today, a uh, couple, okay. couple announcements. Number one is we're going to get a better workout in today. We're just going to drill, work in some areas. One of the greatest NCAA athletes in any sport. The first man in the history of athletic competition to go undefeated. 159 wins, no losses. Cale Sanderson defeats Daniel Cormier. Four consecutive national championships. Cale Sanderson. When Bo Nickel was here, the team won every dual meet for four straight years. Bo's got some funk, and Bo can do anything from a lot of places. We won the Nationals all four years. He had so many big moments. Oh, he's got the chin! Look at yeah. this! And he does! Nickel with the championship for himself and for the Nittany Lions! I was a three-time national champion, three-time Big Ten champion, U23 world champ, Big Ten Athlete of the Year, Hodge Trophy winner. The trajectory of the Nittany Lion program has changed a lot over the last decade. Sanderson, a big reason why, and so is Bo Nickel. All right, hey, so get your necks warm and then jump into your penetration shots, covering ground on your shots. All right, let's go. I always was a fan of the UFC. That was always in the back of my mind, even while I was wrestling, like that transitioning to MMA could be something that I do. He's never been more dominant, the most dominant wrestler in the NCAA. Then about halfway through college, I knew once I'm done wrestling, I'm fighting. It's exciting times and uh, looking forward to uh, moving on to better things. College wrestlers have a distinct advantage jumping in the UFC just because of the environment that they compete in. He wants to go from being one of the best wrestlers at the NCAA international level to become the best pound for pound mixed martial artist on the planet. Guys like Bo Nickel have wrestled in sold out arenas, talking 15, 16,000 people. That gives them a very big advantage. following a 33-second knockout win in his professional MMA debut. The former Nittany Lion wrestler just scored the first knockout of his pro Nickel would enter Dana White's contender series. To achieve what he has in one of the toughest sports in the world, wrestling, this man has a bright future. And although another first-round finish was contract with him. Transition's just so quick. Cranking on that neck again. And he taps out! Nickel would need one more win just to make sure. He's amazing. He's obviously one of the hottest prospects. He's 2-0. So what we'd like to do is offer Bo another fight here in the Contender Series. And here is Bo Nickel, as decorated a collegiate wrestler as we've ever seen. Oh, Locked my God. Up. He's on the neck already. Wow. Right into a triangle to versus it. He's also got the arm. Biggest prospect in MMA that we have seen in years, and he has surpassed the hype each time out. So I, I literally, I, I write notes to remind me. My only note on my paper is the confidence that this kid has. Me and a lot of other people are excited to see the future that this kid has. Welcome to the UFC, brother. UFC 285 in Las Vegas. Nickel will face a fellow contender series alum with seven times the professional experience. For Jamie Pickett, the long road to the UFC all began in the Tar Heel State. Well, I'm from North Carolina, Dublin County. I grew up country living, everybody's laid back, fun, 
horses, ATVs, dirt bikes. I grew up with my grandparents. We got into a lot of fights, a lot of trouble. James. And um, my best friend was killed. He was shot in the head a few times. Here in his castle it was a big moment of me thinking about how I was going to keep doing the stuff I was doing. I think it's... I could be in the casket next. If I didn't find MMA, I'll give you what a lot of people say, but it's the truth. Be dead or in prison. Guaranteed. I found a local gym. I started training at a gym. I had my first fight and just hooked ever since then. Just kept fighting, fighting, fighting. Oh, and a big takedown here. Jamie Pickett is delivered yet again. Like Bo Nickel. Jamie Pickett had multiple appearances on Dana White's Contender Series. Oh, beautiful! Jamie Pickett with a flurry of punches. Get over here, brother, and get your contract. Only for Pickett. It has already led to showcases on the big stage. He's a fantastic striker. He's extremely athletic, and he's got big power in his right hand. He has that power. He has that aggressive style. That's the athletic ability of Jamie Pickett. It's been an awesome experience, but my drive just won't let me stop there. Both Pickett and Nickel will throw down in their pay-per-view debuts before Flyweight Gold goes up for grabs. Oh, and another one. As Alexa Grosso. Go! And she is moving on up at 125 pounds. Battles dominant champion Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, oh head kick, it's in. Man. And former light heavyweight champ John Jones. His gifts, his mind, like no one else. He's just designed for this. Moves up to face former interim king Cyril Gunn. The power in this man's hands is absolutely terrifying. For the vacant crown. Do not blink, folks. It all goes down at UFC 285 in the fight capital of the world.